20 seconds to go. One last gasp for Edmonton. Bouchard's pass didn't click with Dreisaitl. 12 seconds to go. Florida trying to end it up against the wall, which would be fitting. Three seconds to go. The Florida Panthers have won the Stanley Cup. In their 30-year history, the Florida Panthers are Stanley Cup champions. They made it about as hard on themselves as they possibly could, battling a valiant Edmonton team that had rallied from adversity all season long. And Paul Maurice, coaching lifer, 30 years in the National Hockey League, has his Stanley Cup. And can fully take his place now alongside the all-time coaching greats in the NHL. Out of hockey, after he walked away from the Winnipeg Jets in December 2021, never thinking he would coach again. He answered the call from Bill Zito and has led the Cats to the Stanley Cup championship. What a remarkable game seven. The Oilers, an all-out push against the league's best defensive team. The Panthers hang on. Sergei Bobrovsky was brilliant. And in an epic, historic Stanley Cup final, mm. the Panthers are the 2024 champion. The Kachuk family, Keith Kachuk wiping tears from his eyes. A distinguished 18-year career, but Matthew has just done something that he did not do win the Stanley Cup and Matthew said before this final he wanted to do it for his dad to Chuck change this franchise when they transition from up tempo high scoring President's Trophy winning team of two years ago they didn't think they could win the cup that way so they transformed themselves into a defense first team that played with grit personified by Kachuk, who came over in a massive deal from the Calgary Flames. Brother Brady of the Ottawa Senators. There's going to be some fun in the Kachuk yeah, household. <laughs> over That's going to be the way bit. they pronounce their own name for a couple <laughs> and of it days. Might, it could be. I'm looking at the players celebrating, and they're, you know, the management is on the ice, and... It's just a remarkable accomplishment. So hard for two and a half months, and then going the other way past me to the right, or the Oilers just dejected everything that they could have put into this season and this series. And it's all gone. Paul Maurice won a lot of admirers in his two years here with his jovial nature. He's a quote machine. It'll be very popular around the hockey world that he's won the Stanley Cup. But imagine how much different his legacy would be had they lost tonight and been just the second ever to blow a three games to none lead in a Stanley Cup final in 29, 29 instances of one team leading three to none. Stuart Skinner valiant. He'll probably kick himself, Ray, for what turned out to be the game winning goal. A rare softy given up by Skinner on the tally by Reinhardt. And McDavid, Dreisaitl and company pushed all the way to the end. But they ran out of miracles. Well, maybe Skinner will rue that goal, but you score one goal in game seven. 
you've got to tip your hat to the way that the other team played. The Oilers just could not find the extra goal despite a couple of grade AA chances.